What's going on, y'all? 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 It's Saber Dobby. What's going on y'all, it's David or David, and today I'm gonna go over two methods, one cheesy and one not, for how to take down those beastly orb weaver spiders. Method one is the cheese method. This one I actually discovered on accident, but I've been doing this to stock up on spider materials every single day in game easily. First, you'll need a bow and some arrows. The better quality the bow, the less arrows you'll need. Once you're geared up, go ahead and make your way to the northwest part of the map along the large body of water until you find a tipped over flower pot with webs inside. Upon closer inspection of the pot, you'll find one, two, or even maybe three orb weavers inside of it, either crawling around lively or just fast asleep. To execute the cheese, face the flower pot and walk along the stone with your back to the water until you get to the right side where a stem is protruding. Then all you gotta do is aggro the orb weaver somehow with either arrows or even a thrown object, and if you do it just right, the spider should get caught in between the stem and the pot, not being able to move forward towards you. From here, just feel free to rain arrows down on the poor thing until it's dead. You can even scoot up and swing melee weapons, but I wouldn't really recommend it since the orb weaver will attack you if you're too close. This spot is nice because the orb weavers can actually also get stuck on the center stem after being aggroed, so you can fire arrows here as well until you knock it out. Method 2 is the honest method that was probably intended by the developers, a head on battle. There's not much to this one, you and the spider both enter battle and one of you leaves alive, although I do have a few tips that are going to help you for this. First, please, please make sure you are properly geared up. If you just started the game like 15 minutes ago and you only have like tier 1 tools and either tier 1 or even no armor, just go like fight some ants or smaller insects until you're properly geared up and ready for this bad boy. I would recommend you at least have a full set of armor and I would highly recommend that you craft yourself an ant club or spider basher as I like to call it. If you don't have an ant club yet or you don't know where to get yourself one, go check out my super quick video here where I cover how to unlock the recipe for it and farm the mats for it to craft it, and then come back to this video. Second, make sure you're comfortable with the combat mechanics in this game. I'm talking about like dodging, stamina management, and guarding. For dodging, please make sure you are never standing still when fighting an orb weaver or any other insect unless it's either targeting something else or if it's disoriented. For stamina management, make sure you have at least enough stamina to jump or sprint and strafe out of the way of its attacks to make it harder for you to go down. And for guarding, this one you're going to have to practice because once you get perfect guards down, you'll be golden. I recommend practicing against ants and learning the attack patterns until you're comfortable with perfect blocking to avoid damage entirely. And my third and final tip is just to be smarter than the spiders. A lot of my early game orb weaver kills were actually off the back of other insects fighting it and me going in to claim the execution. Roaming on the backyard, you might find a spider in combat with other insects like a colony of ants, a stink bug, or even a beetle. Take advantage of this other insect drawing its attention away and go beat that sucker down while it's distracted. You might even be able to score extra loot if the orb weaver got the other insect down to low HP. And that my friends is going to be it for my guide on how to kill the orb weaver spiders and grounded. Please make sure to go ant club that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of my content and please make sure to go spear that thumbs up button because it helps my channel out a huge amount. Leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed this video or if you're just enjoying grounded and I will check you all in my next grounded survival guide video. See ya! I loved everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright